I'm Bob Turnbull. I'm with the Department of Horticulture. And I'm here this afternoon to demonstrate how to transplant squash and tomatoes that have been uh, seeded and grown in a greenhouse. So first, we have to decide where we're going to put it. And we're going to put it right here. So let's plant, make a hole for it. And it'll be about four or so inches deep. And then I like to put in a little compost. This is composted manure. Um, it's been used for ages and ages as a fertilizer. And we're going to be using it here. You usually get it at any garden store, especially this time of the year. This looks like sufficient amount. Put it in there and you want to work it in. And then make a little space for your plant, which will be this one right here. I like to separate the roots a little, spread them out. And then we go ahead, put it in the ground, move the soil around it. With a firm bedding, I like to leave the ground a little bit depressed so water can come and go into it when it rains. And you have a nice soil structure that can result from that. For the squash, we used a compost. For the uh, tomato, we're going to use a fish emulsion here. and it needs to be diluted. So it's one tablespoon per gallon. So here we go. Tablespoon, we have a gallon of water down here. And just a tad more, because we didn't quite get it up to the top. And that ought to do that. Let's give it a little stir. Okay, there's that. And then we'll plant the tomato. And then water it with the fish emulsion. So like we did with squash, we can give it a little root space. Go ahead and put it in there. Like we did with the squash, not too deep, but not too shallow. And then give it a little fertilization. And that's about it. We just demonstrated uh, purchased uh, fertilizers, how to use it when you transplant. Now we're going to learn how to make compost, which is a, as well a fertilizer. These, this is done with basically any kind of organic waste. This particular here is kitchen waste. And as you look in here, you will see avocados, you'll see various squash, and uh, that will break down. Let me finish loading it up here. Over the summer and through the winter. You can also use coffee grounds as well as the, um, the little paper. Uh, put, put in your coffee maker. So there's that. Banana peel. And then it goes on, it lets air in, so it doesn't stink. And then, at the beginning of the next year, or perhaps a little bit later than that, you'll find down here, basically, 
a very rich soil that has uh, broken down from the uh, organic waste that we put in there over the past year or so. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is show you how to mulch the plants that we've just planted. We like to get some hay, some baled grasses. They're easy to move around, lightweight, peel off bit of a sheave or a slab as some might call. Get a handful of it. And I like to put it around just about like that. All the way around. And what this will do will uh, conserve moisture and uh, give it a little bit of protection from the wind. Do the same with the squash. Okay, great. You've learned how to uh, transplant the tomatoes. Some squash. And how to mulch them in place, a little fertilizer. So, I guess that's about it. Happy gardening.